All right, guys, here we are with a, an exceptional guest. We have Mr. Uh, Norwitz, another chessable author, and not, not only another great chessable author, but um, he also has a course on the Stonewall attack. So I wanted to do this video, we wanted to do this video together because, number one, we're going to be playing a master level engine from chess.com using the Stonewall attack. And you get to see how we approach it. You get to see the the different ideas that you already learned in either course. Also, you can check out his chessable courses. You have more than one course, right? Yeah. Uh, one on the Stonewall Cheesecake and one on the Carol Khan. Okay, Carol Khan and then the Stonewall. And then I'm pretty sure there are more coming up. So I'm going to leave in the description the link to his um, author profile and then yeah, the, uh, everything else. Um, that you should know if you want to contact him for lessons or anything else. But bottom line, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something that you didn't know before. He's been playing this at the top level for a long time. So there we go. We're going to just go take turns. And I'm going to try to ask him as many questions as possible. And that's it. I don't know uh, if you want to say something before we start. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Robert. And uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's really cool that Stonewall is becoming like a whole thing. It's it's it's, it's cool. Be, yeah, it's 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 uh, it's interesting. And I think I think years ago it was not uh, looked on as as a bigger weapon. And I, I think it, it it didn't get its proper uh, recognition. Re recognition. Yeah. I well, I um I think it used to be a thing a long time ago. Then it it went out of it was not as popular anymore. And then now it's uh, it's being used again more and more. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right, so let's get to it. I'm going to choose this 2200 bot, the first one of the master section. I'm going to hit start, and then we're going to take it from this position. So let's take one move at a time. I'm going to take the first one because it's easy, <laughs> and then we go from here. So last move from this position was c5. And actually, let me go from the beginning. So we got d4. And yes, I've, I sort of forced this engine into this position because I wanted us to get... The, nice. uh, the main line, right? So after c5, I'm just going to go ahead and respond by playing c3. If I do something wrong, uh, of course, I'm going to be corrected on the spot, and then we both learn. So c3, just to correct that. Your turn, my friend. Oh, and I can move on the screen. Wait, I, no, oh, I, no, I, you I, won't so be able say, to, but you can tell me the move. <laughs> I can say the move. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, here, here we're very happy to see c4. Like, when they play c4... It's a common move at probably up to pretty high level, up to 18, 1900. And it, it tries to get space for, for, for black, but, but it, it's actually helping us uh, we, because uh, the bishop is looks like it's being kicked, but it's not. It, it, bishops don't change. The bishops could be all the way back, and it's, it's no difference. Mm -hmm. And now he loses pressure on the center. He, he, he's no longer attacking our center. Um, and, uh, okay, we go back to, to C2, and the, it, it's a, not to jump in the gun or anything, but there's a big move in the stone wall where <clears throat> we often play E4. I like to, <laughs> it's something I kind of came to the conclusion over the years, E4 is a big move, and it's hard to get E4, because if they play C5, they're saying, you're gonna, your center is gonna collapse. If you ever play E4, um, you just he starts taking pawns, 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 pawns start falling. So when they play c4, we we kind of are, hmm. are relieved to know that e4 is available. You know that's that's a good that's a very good point that I I haven't made that point enough. Um, this move, while it seems like it gave more space because of the pawn chain aiming at the queen side and this big space, it's not as annoying to us as this constant threat to take to take on d4. So that's a very good point. All right, so now you know C4, you have to be like, okay, this is good for us. And for black, they feel like they're doing great. So it's a win-win. <laughs> so bishop C2, knight C6. Here I'm going to go, of course, um, stonewall fashion, completing the structure. And whenever I see this knight C6, I'm really concerned about E5. We cannot let that happen. So pawn to F4. And now um, I think we could play uh, knight f3. Knight f3 seems exactly. Seems 
And again, uh, I think back to what you said, Night of Three here is easy to make because they don't have this C takes D4 and then we have to decide. Yes. Good, good, so good so good we, see the, we see the whole point of this not being so good for black. Very good. Yeah. Okay, here, I, I'm so, I really feel like I want to play 95, <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to go castle, keep it simple. Keep it simple, nice. And then they're being consistent yeah. with, with the expansion. Okay. Yeah. I think at a human level, I, I've noticed over the years, when I play knight e5, then they know, like, oh, he's trying to mate me. And then they start, like, finding defenses. When I was making it with, with Lothazar, Elijah Lothazar, he, he said the boiling frog concept of a frog is, like, boiling, boiling. You know, he doesn't know he's boiling, and then it's too late. Exactly. You want it to, like, you want to, that's the idea, big idea of the Stonewall, where it just starts, like, almost looks quiet like anything, and then over. Quiet over, exactly. And wanna, exactly. Yeah, and you want to sometimes lull them in a little bit more. So ninety five is a little wakes them up. You want to keep the keep. That's true. Safe. That's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> and and you know, there's this always there's always this other concept of the threat being more powerful than the execution, right? So you want them there waiting for us to play ninety five, but we will play it whenever we want to. Very nice. So what do we play? Here, here let's play, um, hmm. let's see what we got here. I feel like, I feel like 95, wait, wait, yeah, 95 has to be it. Let's do 95. All right, 95. Our intimidating computers. <laughs> are, <it's> still, <laughs> okay, well, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do it. Here we yeah, 95, all right, so 95. I guess oh, yeah. it makes sense that defending the knight. Okay, and now this is a, a very important moment that I wanted to, to go over with you because I personally... I li I really like the idea of playing queen f3 and then th these ideas of g4 uh, sometimes even queen h3, but <coughs> a, a lot of people who um, are using these lines they keep asking me in the in the chorus, well what's wrong with playing g4 right away? And I always tell them, look, I don't think it's a big deal. Feel free to try them all, and then you could even play king h1 and and rook g1, being careful with this diagonal of course. But I'm gonna go with what I like, which is queen f3. I don't know if you have anything different before I play it. Yeah, it's, it's a great question. I mean, it, it's it, yeah, I, I like Queen F3. When I first learned it, when I was a little kid, that was my first opening. So my first like, love. Like it. three years ago. Three years ago, exactly, exactly. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, and uh, my coach told me, yeah, you got a document. Let's tell you, G4, G5. And I did that for for a while. It worked sometimes, but then as I got stronger opponents, it, it's it's very loose. And and I started playing like strong grandmasters, and it, and then it got bad. It got real bad. You, you mm. just you 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 you're, you're you're going for broke. If you don't mate him, you're just gonna lose. Ah, uh, um, that, that's a good point. So G four G five, yes, it's promising. But someone who defends well, they will defend, and then you are a little bit naked, right? Exactly. Huh. It, let me ask you as you as you say this just <laughs> off the top of your head what is the strongest opponent you've played this against like 25 24 2600 oh, oh, against oh topalo i mean i mean i've been yeah i mean i've been i mean, I have a nice game against topalo and so <laughs> yeah that that's uh that, that's all that we need to hear if you play this <laughs> against topalo that's it okay i, I, I want oh yeah so so but but, but it, it's it's something interesting. It, it it it's something interesting where I think like people think of the stone as an attacking, and, and it is. But it's very positional, really. And it's it's if if, if we were to ask like what color is the main color in the stone wall? Exactly. Yeah. It, the the dark ones, right? Well, it seems that it's dark, and it, of course the dark is. It's true. The dark is absolutely the base. There's no question. But I think the the juice. It's like a. It reminds me, I did a little, I uh, didn't know much yoga, but here and there, these are the fascia, like between the muscles and the, the stuff. Yeah, yeah, that's like the fascia is like the, the, the is the light squares. So that's the okay. juice of the position. And that's what makes the stone wall into like just a wall of stone and just whatever, a wall into like a weapon, into, into harmony. So it's about controlling light. The E4 square is not just a weakness. That should be protected, but it's a joy. It's like you know, that's why sometimes pawn e4 is a big move. Queen f3 is like inspiring move of, mm -hmm. of harmony, of getting that harmony. Uh, g4 is a little bit more caveman style, so you want to be a little 
less caveman war harmony that's uh, <laughs> That's a very nice way to put it. That's a very nice way to put it. At the end of the day, Queen F3, you're improving a piece, and not any piece, you're improving your most powerful piece. G4, you're moving, you're moving pawns. Absolutely, absolutely. That's a very nice way to see it. And, you know, that has been my experience. I, I like the Stonewall because I feel if I have it in my repertoire and I'm going to play someone more stronger, I'll be happy to play the Stonewall because I, I feel like they don't get anything. And at the very... Worst case scenario for me, I get a quiet position, solid, strategic, and we just play chess. Like I played this on Title Tuesday against uh, Faustino Oro, and he got yeah. nothing out of the opening. We played him all the way until the end. Of course, he got me in trouble in, in time pressure, but the opening, he got nothing out of it. And is that a young kid? Yeah, the Argentinian. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. He plays. I think I better. He plays always d forty five. He gave you he d four. Right? Did he play e sixty five? He did, right? He he, he he no. He actually played the line where he goes first d five, knight f six, and then c five. Okay. okay. So that's what he played. But then you know, um, he went into a very easy game. But then like two hundred moves later, in the time pressure, he got me in trouble. <laughs> 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 All right. So queen f three. This is music, music to our ears. They keep expanding on the queen side, but we we don't really care. Yeah. By the way, e four is so tempting. It, both the last move and, and now even more. Is it? It just it's just such an interesting. Uh, you you said pawn to e four. Pawn e four sometimes is is really strong. I guess if it was a human, I would be more likely to play it. Computers, <laughs> they just like start like when you open the position, it gets it gets swacky. Exactly. But he gets the dark bishop out again, and then next is the e4 square. It kind of gets things flowing. Hmm. Um, you know, to me, I'm glad that you're mentioning it because I always say throughout the course, I keep saying, don't forget e4 is a possibility. But to me, yeah. like in this specific position, I like this expansion so much that I don't want to play e4. But now that you say it, it's counterintuitive because I'm opening up this strong bishop. But at the same time, you also get um, very good initiative. So I guess it's just a matter of getting com getting comfortable. Yeah. With that. And, and E4 also has a threat of knight takes knight. It's interesting. E4 already carries a meter of knight takes knight. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and then E5. Correct. But then it's, my it's, concern my concern is if they take you, I'm guessing you take back with the knight, right? Yeah. Knight take. And you know, it's just, again, counterintuitive. That bishop. I, I'm traumatized with it so many, so many times I've lost because of that bishop. But I get it. It it does make sense. So do we do it or do we wait? Uh, I think of oh, because you know what I'm concerned about, and is that if we play e4, I've seen a move. It's called it's a knight e7. It's it's the move knight, knight e7. It's exact. That's the that's the one move I'm concerned about. Huh. It, 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 and then they just kind of like annoy. So if e4, they have 97, they don't want you to trade, and they, they're they opening up the bishop. They open the bishop, and, and I think the computer's going to find it. Against a human, I would I would take a risk if they don't find it. Mm -hmm. I feel like that's okay, and if they do, they do. But um, And Robert, yeah, I think g4 is is, uh, is is also very, very strong here. Yeah. G4, like g4, okay. Yeah, it's, it's consistent with our expand, expansion on the king side. Uh, yeah. I was thinking back to that e4, 97. I'm thinking, do we have knight takes f7? something wants to oh, seven and then um, e5 oh and then e5 God. right but then if we take on f7 what if they take on e4 but then we take the queen that's what i was thinking but like for, the queen's already hanging and we take everything and we take and the bishop too bishop, tic -tac -toe. <laughs> wow <laughs> i don't so, i don't know oh, e4 is 10 i feel like for instructor purposes maybe maybe let, let's do it because look that's i right. think in your course and in my course we both talk a lot about this plan yeah, but yeah, this yeah. is a good different different way to look at it. Yeah, exactly. let's let's give it a try. If we mess it up, well, we learn something. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Scary. Oh. Okay. Okay. Knight takes out only move, but fine. And then e five. Yeah. Yeah. E five. There you go. No, All right. So. Okay. okay. This one is up to you now. What what do we take? I, I, I cannot get this far. Do we take the knight? Do we take the bishop? What makes I sense? I actually think we take the knight. It's actually fascinating because taking the bishop is then he has knight takes d6 and then he clamps down on e4. So again, mm, a nice, then, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it, you know, it's one of the ideas I've worked on in chess about light squares, dark squares, harmony, right. always a balance. And, and, 
over the years, the, the and I've developed a lot of new ideas in this, and the Stonewall actually taught me, helped, like I was thinking, because I played it so many times, and I started thinking about it, like, light, dark, and, and, and it's and it's fascinating how I, I think playing the Stonewall can actually help people learn about exactly, this exactly. chess. Either either you play the Stonewall or you have to study uh, Karpov's games. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly, right. This is kind of like you're basically studying Karpov with just by playing an opening, yeah, exactly. Exactly, exactly. exactly. Very good. So um, the very good point, we cannot forget that for black, one of the main plans is to cement a knight on e4. So we, we don't want to make it easy for them. So by doing this, not only can they not take back with the knight and replay and put it there, here, but we're eliminating one of the pieces that could land on e4. Very good. All right. I think and people have a bias towards, towards bishop here. Sorry. What's that? I'm sorry? Oh, uh, people often get biased. Yeah, you're right. And this is uh, maybe instructive in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But That's we true. didn't take the dark square bishop. People say, "Oh, I want the, I want to gain the bishop pair," but then they dominate the light squares. So yeah, and and, and 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 you're right because also that bishop seems to be the the good bishop for black, since this one is yeah. is blocked. Very good. Um, and so far, by the way, I have the. I don't know. If, let me see. Can we see the board? No. Um, I have the bar, the evaluation bar on, and it's saying we are winning by 0 0.8. So I, I, it's, it's not significant, oh. but it's a good edge against the, <laughs> against the computer. I like it. I like it. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can. Wait, let me see if I can uh, quickly here. That way. I wonder what would have wanted E4 or G4. I'm so curious. It doesn't, it won't. Yeah. Well, no, we're going to, we're going to take a look at the end. Okay. There you go. Yeah. So there we have the bar. <coughs> there we go. Okay, so we took on F6. They took back. And now this is a very interesting moment. How do we continue from here? What's the plan? My main problem is my bishop is still developed. My knight, I wish I could improve it, but I don't see how yet. It seems like my queen is in the wrong, on the wrong square. Yes. So ideally, I would I like to play this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, to drop. The, the, the knight, the queen is where the the, the the knight wants to be. So the question is, where should the queen go? I mean, I think that's that's basically the question. <laughs> yes. Um, I like, uh, just by looking at it, I like queen h3. I think um, yeah. it's thematic. We see the queen often coming to h3, trying to work together with the bishop. So in a way, we're pinning the, the knight on f5. And was still active on the king side. Queen e2 also makes sense to me. So, um, queen e2 is my first instinct, but, but queen h3 is probably a lot better. Yeah, queen h3 is, is yeah, because it's, it's also threatening g4. I think it's actually threatening immediately g4. Yeah, then they will have to go knight h6 and then g5. And g5, yeah. It's, it's, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The fact that it's almost a threat is, I think, you, either it's a threat or it's, or it's like, da like dangerous, annoying. They have uh, to do something about it. That's a fact. And, and interestingly enough, yeah, and if Queen H three, if he tries to trade queens, like if Black trades queens, he's going to be doing reasonably all right. So let's say mm. we go Queen H three, and he does Queen H four. He can't do that, yeah, because because Bishop takes knight. It's a nice little. That, that's piece. a nice one. That's a nice Thank one. You. Thank you. That's a nice one. All right, let's give it a try. All right, okay. this is this is like I don't know what to do. <laughs> Wait, isn't he just losing? G four, G five might he might have I mean this might be over. Well uh, well let me ask yeah. you, uh well, I was gonna say what if they go not H four, but we have G five anyways, right? Exactly. Well but, I wanna leave I'm gonna leave this calculation to you because in my experience I get excited, I play G four and then there's something I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, it's one of the things that actually as much as I wish G four would work for everybody, <laughs> oh, I, I bless you. <laughs> G four, all your G fours should come true. <laughs> all your G four wishes, but it's not the case. In fact, as computers, it's 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 never working. I, I hate to be like a negative, but a, a Debbie Downer, but like, but it, it's it, it, against humans. It will a lot against computers. Just be a little more careful against humans. Be well, almost like play it only when you're like, ah, it's so good. I cannot play. Like, okay, at that point, play it. Exactly. Um, Exactly. It happens to be G4. I see a problem, and, and it, it, it's. I just noticed something, and there was something that was in, in the air before, and now it's even more. 
Uh, knight takes pawn on d4. I think he's going to sack. Or she is going to sack. G4, knight takes, pawn takes, queen takes. It's oh, weird. and then we could get mutilated down through time. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> we do get a seven, though. It seems like it's... It seems... Oh, no, I mean... <clears throat> wait, this, oh, this is weird. This is... Yeah, this is really weird. We even get a seven, but it may not help us. Um... Hmm. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh... Well, you know what? I, you're right. Going back to the reason why we play Queen H3, H7, I think I'll be happy. You know what? Even if I get checkmated, this is very satisfying. Right? But no, you know what? I'm, I'm also thinking we don't have to take here right away because I was thinking G4 knight takes. What if we go G5, for example? G5, but then knight E2 check. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I know and, I, that. and I go king F2. And then queen takes F4. It's, or knight takes, ooh, mm -hmm. yeah, it's really... It gets interesting. Okay, so G4, knight D4, queen H7, king F7, C takes yeah. D4, queen takes D4, rook F2, and I guess bishop C5, right? Yeah, bishop, or rook H8, I think the queen's trap. Rook H8 is somehow weird. But wait, 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 uh, uh, yeah, I see your point. I see your point. No, no, wait, is is the... No, the queen is not trapped, right? We could go queen g6. Well, then he takes. Oh, the queen's away. Oh, yeah, you're right. The queen's on d4. Because right? the yeah, queen yeah, went yeah. to d4. So maybe he plays rook h8 earlier. Maybe instead of taking on d4, right? Well, wait, g4, wait. knight d4, right? Okay. Check, king f7. Seven. g5, or what did we say? We said no, pawn takes. Pawn takes, okay. Pawn takes, and then rook h8 right away. And rook h8 right away. Ah, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> yeah, that's a good I point. I mean, just to, just to put it into pose something, knight f3 is 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 good. That, yeah, that's yeah awesome. you're right, you're right. So I, we have to pick between these two, and this is a good point. Uh, I always tell my students uh, because we talk a lot about time management, especially in a tournament game, and I always tell them, look, I like the idea of if I if I'm in a position like this that is critical and I have to calculate, I'll be like, you know what? Let me find a move that is good enough, that maintains the position like knight f3. Yeah, and then I yeah. could say, let me take three, five minutes to look into this other line. At the end, if I see that the time is up, I couldn't find anything, fine. I'm just going to play knight f3, which is good enough. It's so really the good. time yeah, management is, is a, it's an interesting idea. Yeah. Uh, now, I'm really trusting your calculation skills more than mine. So do we keep it oh, simple, knight f3? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's... It's it's I, I just know there's it's it's not clear. I know enough to know it's not clear. I don't know well, enough to know. I personally when I calculate something and it's not clear, particularly if I'm already ahead, not, not that we're winning but slightly better, I'll keep it simple. I'll just go that F three and then yeah. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. and then we have till the, the thread, right? Then we um, have then G four really works, yeah. Then, exactly. Then exactly. But very important how you quickly pointed this out. It didn't cross my mind and this is the kind of things that Take us by surprise, and we go from better to completely losing. Very, very yeah. nice. All right, so anyways, um, we're going to review it after. Let's keep it simple. Okay. Oh, my, oh, my. Okay. Okay, so now we're, we're, we feel like we're getting rewarded in some way. But but, but here's the thing. Oh, gosh. If, if we play G4, G4 is it's like, how can we not play it now, right? How can we not? <laughs> but... But what does he do if G four? I feel like it's not. It's still maybe not. Not clear. Well, at the very least, we're getting material here, right? Well, then maybe Queen H six. Maybe Queen H six. It's like he, he, he might have Queen H six. Mm -hmm. Oh my! Oh, the sneaky little. Oh, that's true. Because then the the pawn on G four is interfering with this. Uh, D4. Yeah, that's <laughs> To be fair, like this is how com humans are not as they're not going to defend like this. They, they, they're just not. Uh, yeah, exactly. Just, too, too many emotions yeah. to to just play that. Yeah, they, they just don't find all this. Um, I mean, we have a lot of interesting. So, are we sure though? G four, G four, Queen H six, and then then what? Then we would have to play something like. Queen G two, but I'm not happy with that, honestly. Queen G, yeah, interestingly enough, Queen G two, knight E seven, G five trap, oh, doesn't almost trap the queen, but not quite. Okay. Not quite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and I'm thinking also if you go G four, Queen H six, Queen G two, Knight H four might be interesting. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. 
and then I'm not sure we have an edge because then F4 is going to be under attack. So yeah. once more, I'll be between candidate moves would be G4. I'll have bishop D2 and even knight E5 or knight G5. Knight G5 is interesting, but I don't know. I don't know. Knight G5, the problem is just H6, right? Yeah, it, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it almost feels like it should have something, but it... Uh, yeah, I was thinking like, okay, play h6, I'm going to play g4, and it gets messy. But I don't know if it's going to get messy, messy for me or for, for them. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> um, interestingly enough, knight, knight, uh, what do we say? g4, queen h6. What about queen takes queen? I know it's something we, 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 we mm -hmm. kind of didn't think about at all. They have to take back. He has to go with a knight. And then, and then we have some interesting ideas like knight g5. Knight g5, knight. but then this is hanging, and then we take knight on f7. On h7. Yeah. Or, or even h3. Like, like it's it's actually kind of cool. So again, g4, mm -hmm. queen h6, only move, which which is a nice narrow tree of calculation. Uh, queen takes queen. Uh, knight takes queen. And then h3. The knight's pretty bad there. And we're threatening knight g5. True. Knight e5. But I'm, I'm concerned when the knight captures back, they're hitting my pawn, and they're also hitting it with the bishop and the rook on f4. Right. And then bishop takes pawn on f4. Mm -hmm. Bishop takes bishop on f4. We get rid of our bad bishop, which is nice. Rook takes, and bishop takes h7. This is, does this work? It's oh, maybe. with the idea of playing knight g5 after? Y yeah, the, or knight g5 the, first. Maybe knight g5 right away. I think we pick up a pawn with the end game. It, it's uh, really weird. Yeah, yeah. You're going to hit one of these two. Yeah, it, it's, oh. it's, it's interesting. I, Okay, okay, so we're saying... Going to an endgame in the Stonewall is not usual. We don't usually think of it. We want to make it. But that's another... <laughs> it's just, 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 just what's out there. But whether it's good, I don't know. No, but I like, I like the fact... Even if it's not the way to go, I like the fact that we're calculating, we're visualizing. So that way, this video is not only about the opening, but we hit every single area. Endgame, yeah. Even the endgame, exactly. Uh, so G4, not H6. Queen takes, Queen, Knight takes. Then pawn to h3, keeping it simple. And yeah. then if they take, we take, rook takes, and then. Then knight, knight g5, knight g5. Right, right? Knight g5, yeah. He has to trade rooks. Yeah, takes, takes, and now they have to give me either the h7 Seven. pawn or the e6 pawn. Such a good endgame, yeah. It's so yeah. Good. And they have yeah. the bad bishop, we have the good bishop. Ooh. Now, my only question to you is how do you feel? After g4, queen h6, queen takes, knight takes, pawn h3, if they don't take on f4. But, but then knight g5 is still a threat. I get it. Oh, oh, but uh, by the way, you know, you know what's also a threat is f5. No, no, not f5, but knight, because knight and h6 could be a problem. Like it could be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. so let's do well, it. Well, but, but let's, see the op let's see the alternative. I don't mean to. I know it's exciting. <laughs> But the alternative is 95. Your idea, Robert, is 95 is very tempting. I, this is all it's doing is making it harder for it. But, 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 but I, it's so tempting. Like 95 carries 97 just out of nowhere. Four, exactly, right? exactly. And if they take, we open up the F file and it's so, really, really attractive. It's really good. I mean, so that's why 95 is like a huge can. If not for 95, I would say, let's just do it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's a good end game. But 95 is, is hard, hard to, to put down. It's, it's like... It's, it's, it's existential crisis. And 95, and what does he do? This is a good problem to have, that we have too many good it's, options. Very well. That's, that's the, can you say that? Very 95, well. 95. I mean, honestly, I think they could just let it be, right? So 95, maybe they do something like, I don't know, Rook A7 to help through the seventh rank. Remember, Rook... 97 is a threat. Four, ah, right? true, true. So, okay, let's say I go Rook D8. <clears throat> a rook d8. We also could still play g4, and maybe that's some true version of that. Maybe not. Maybe yeah. Maybe no. I don't. Well, yeah. I don't know because now we don't have the knight g5 idea yeah, at the end, right? But then bishop d2. I feel like oh yeah, yeah. How good is that one? Yeah, I mean, I I like bishop d2 honestly, leaving this for later. But you could do knight e5, force yeah. them to react to it, then bishop d2, and then I mean, the rook comes over. Yeah, that's how. Yeah, 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 and then the rook e1. Yeah, it's, and this, I, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, 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 go, 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 go. no, no. Uh, I was just gonna say that I, I always tell people to be okay with this. You're playing your stone wall 
it would be nice if they let us attack their king and get a nice game in 20 moves. But if not, you have to be okay with just keeping it simple, improving your pieces, and playing chess. Yeah. Yeah. I I think maybe for instructive purposes, the end game is... But you make... It's not... You, you make the call. I feel, hey, I, I let's know. do it. Let's do it. I just want to make sure that your calculation skills tell us there is no surprise because that's what happens to me. <laughs> I have to look at it five times. Otherwise, it's like, ah, this move, I didn't see it. Uh, D4, there you go. Okay. You called it. Great. Good. And he has to take, which is nice to have like a narrow, and then H3. It's nice against computers, particularly. And games also, they are weak round, to be fair. Like it's, That's it's true. Just, that's true. That's true. H3, I think. Okay, Knight F7. Fair enough. I think we've done, <laughs> we've definitely done well. The question is how well. <clears throat> Okay, so now I'm, I feel like just developing this bishop finally. Yeah. yeah. Uh, D2 maybe, just so, so that the rook comes over straight to E6. Yeah, bishop E2 seems really good. Yeah. All right. His E pawn is terrible. Okay, I mean, that's that's interesting. Um, <laughs> that's such wow. a computer move. Rookie, rookie I mean, one? Right? Well, the thing is, is he threatening F4 now? I feel like maybe he is, maybe he's not. I don't but don't we have the same thing? Uh, kind of do, kind of don't. Because it's not... Well, why do... Yeah. Wait, who? Let me ask you something. What do you think of... Let's say we do this move. Rook E1, yeah. And then they take... Can't we Wait. just go Bishop H7 right now? Before taking the four? Right, King takes. And then Knight G5? Nah, we nah, nah, we can't. Too many pieces. Get so many pieces. Too many pieces. Too many pieces. Too many pieces. Um... So we have but, but, to yeah, let's, let's think about it. Well, 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 well rook e1, rook a1, let's imagine. Bishop takes f4. Bishop takes bishop, right? Rook takes f4. <clears throat> then th then bishop takes h7, right? Maybe. Yeah, so but it's, a, it's the same problem. They're going to take it, and then king g6. King g6, rook takes f4, king takes g5, rook f8. Maybe, the, maybe, there's, maybe we get enough. We pin him up. We, we, I but, feel like we're, we're. But the rook is defender, right? I could just. But then we win the e6 pawn as well. Like, like it, when, mm -hmm. when he does that. Because the rook is here. Yeah, and I think he's dead lost in that end game. I think he's just dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He's, I, I, <laughs> he's in trouble. All of those pieces are uncomfortable. All of those are uncomfortable. So he. And at the end of the day, we only gave them. Two pieces for the rook, which is a little bit inferior, but with so much compensation, we should be okay. Yeah, we get two pawns. We two pawns. Um, is it two pawns? Is it two? Well, not only the pawns, but we also get uh, they yeah. get their pieces tied down on the queen side, yeah. unable to coordinate themselves. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So rookie one or rookie, have, um... rookie one. We have ninety five. Yeah, ninety five is another ten thing, right? So this goes back to the, the, the good problem to have too many good moves. But, which is, but, itself is a, right, but you tough. know, if we didn't do it before that it came with the with the threat of D seven, I, I mean it's not a big deal right fair now. Enough, fair enough. <laughs> fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Okay, we can Ooh, Wow, what is what is this? Come What's on, computer. On? What the heck? okay. <laughs> this is okay, this, this I would never imagine. Okay. Okay. Good resource to be aware of. B3, okay. Yeah, okay. Ah, oh, that's yeah. really annoying. Mm. Okay. <laughs> that's really annoying. Well, what's the threat? We take it, well, why can't we take twice? I think, I think it has to do with the fact that our bishop is going to be if we take twice here, the bishop is going to be away from this diagonal. But also, when we take, they take, they find a new route for their bishop to be annoyed. They reroute the bishop, yeah. They reroute the bishop. So maybe we take once and then bishop d3 or something? Maybe we take... Okay, bishop and then d3? Okay. Yeah, that's what they wanted. That's what they want to trade, position. Ooh. That's what they want. Same pack as that, okay. Okay, okay. Well, I think we have no choice but to accept Trading. it, right? Okay. Now what? Okay. Hmm. 
Tak mahal-mahal. Maybe Night G5. <clears throat> I don't want to... I'm looking at Night G5, but then they could just retreat, right? They could just retreat. And then this is coming like 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 fire. Yeah, maybe Rook A1. Maybe just give him the F4, and then, maybe that's the way. Rook A1. Rook A1, and then give that four, and then Knight E5. And yeah, and I usually don't want to give computers pawns, but I feel like it's just not it's, that it's the only way. It's the only way. It's the only way. All right, we'll give it a shot. We probably had to play more aggressive. The, the computer wasn't as bad at end game as as she, she, what, I saw the, the profile for Nora. She learned from Carlson games. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> yeah, that's true. Pro probably their <laughs> neighbors. They, they live next to each other. Neighbors, neighbors. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So how do we go from here? Do we go uh, ninety five? Do we just ignore it? Maybe ninety one to d three or something. Maybe route the knight. Trying Maybe to help. Up. Yeah, that one that one looks nice that one looks nice and why is it that we don't like 95 like compared to 91 i'm just worried that that if they, they trade the bishop for the knight then her knight gets to all our squares like her knight could mm, eventually yeah, so. yeah they're gonna be able to put it anywhere they want you're right all right so 91 what is this it's so aggressive. we have to take it i don't want that point on a2 <laughs> Oh, it's like A2. Yeah, yeah. All right. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, I guess A. It doesn't look like that big. What's what? going on? Here? Yeah, no, she's going a little crazy. It's, it's, it's okay. It's That's good for us. It's good for us. It's, it bodes well for... Yeah, that wasn't good. That wasn't good for them. <laughs> now, I'm not concerned about this move. I don't yeah. think we have to take... I like the idea of following through with our plan, controlling B2, improving yeah. the knight... And then, and then Rook B1, picking up the pawn, Correct, right? correct. And it's, even if they defend that we could go after Rook B1, we could double up on it if we think it's a good I idea. I think so. It's metaphorical. It's like very symbolic of light squares. Like B3 is like light. It, mm -hmm. In the snowball, it's like, there's, like a, there's a lot of dark, strong on dark, and there's a yearning for light, for light squares. And it could mm -hmm. be on E4, it could be on H7 to make to Meta. And, you know, E6 we saw. And even now B3 in the queen side, it's like some light significance that we're always That's trying true. to get. That's true. The light. That's the light. See the light. See the light. See the light. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Rook B1. I'm sorry. Rook B1. Rook B1 seems like reason. I, yeah, I don't see why not. Rook B1 is, yeah. So, actually, Knight B4 is a bit of a threat. But not right away, maybe. Interesting. Interesting. But it's in the air. It is in the air. Maybe Knight B4 last move. Okay, that was hard to know. In hindsight, it's 2020, I guess. <laughs> Well, uh, we got knight before. We got the idea. I mean, where's that knight going? Is it a five? Because I'm thinking, That's rook b two, rook b one. It's now or never. But but then knight a, knight a five gets gets in there. And if I go rook b one, threatening. Oh, because they're not gonna come here right away. They're gonna stay there. They stay there. Mm -hmm. And I don't have c four. Okay. Fair enough. C4 would be nice to get. How about knight b2? Too crazy and then c4? Nah. And then knight e5. Uh, knight e5 keeps, keeps being annoying. <laughs> keeps hmm. Hmm. Rookie one? What about rookie one? Is that ever. I mean, I don't know. It's Rookie, rookie one hitting the pawn and then they have to be. Rook just came from there, but. It is hard. How does, how does she meet rookie one? Rookie eight. Rookie eight, then maybe f5. At least we get rid of our weakness. Mm hmm. And then the bishop it gets activated in the knight. It's activated, yeah. And what if I go if what if they go rook f six? Then g five. I would just show g five and then put her in jail. G, and g6 that's the jail. only yeah. That's the ugliest rook in the world. Yeah, yeah. And then maybe it gets trapped one day. All <laughs> right, and, and this is a good point that you made here. We just came from e one, but I always tell my students every principle in chess is flexible. We know we shouldn't be moving the same piece multiple times in a row, but in this case, it makes sense. It makes sense. All right. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. <laughs> it's, 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 now I see the, the, the bar on the sides. Wild. You see every move. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah. like, it's like the computer is not that good at end games, but you guys are not either. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. 
All right, I I think we can pretend here like we know what we're doing, but I don't know. I, I mean, the phone eight. is there. I think so, but then ninety four. Yeah, yeah. I think I think I think Rook takes his only move. It's, it's just it's just otherwise Night Sword's coming anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if, if Night Sword, yeah. Ninety four. Okay, it's okay. Okay, here we go. Here we it go. It looks like ninety four is not that good, but how do we prove it? How do we prove it, right? <clears throat> There is a threat of B two. I suppose that's that's a bit of a. Yeah. You know what I'm wondering about is actually Bishop C one, like like because the her, right because if B two we could take 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 and Rook takes D six, maybe does that make sense? In other, in other words, the bishops. <clears throat> she's threatening B. B two. Mm -hmm. uh, but then we we take so Bishop C one. Because we're hitting uh, this one at the end, right? Hitting that one at the end. I, I know it's a little scary when her rooks start coming. In. <laughs> yeah, it is but, scary, but it doesn't it look like scary. we have many options. <laughs> we don't have too many options. Yeah, I think Bishop C one is, yeah. is about right. The rooks are winning. Knight B two. What do you mean yeah. I B two? In other words, Bishop C one. If if she doesn't do anything, I think we like start trading off and 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 and. Uh, okay. We up two pawns. Are we up? Are we up like two pawns. We're up a couple pawns, yeah. Um, one thing I didn't like, this one seems so counterintuitive to me because it feels like my rook is getting out of the game, but but not quite. Number one, we have not many options, but number two, the rook could always come over and help or just push the pawn and, and so yeah, on. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe the rook is ready as where it wants to be. So it's, that's it's, true, uh, that's true. And he has never moved. He's never moved. Ooh, la, la. Okay, what is right. this? F5 comes to mind. That does come to mind. Uh, or, or or rookie two. The F five is really interesting. I wonder. I'm a little bit concerned about rook h eight. I feel like, but maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it's more just. Mm. Like, yeah, that is nice. Ninety five idea. No, but you know, I like your idea. I like your idea of. You know what? Let me just go back, regroup, take care of the only thread, the only counterplay they have. The only counterplay, right? Mm -hmm. Does seem and then ninety five is like rook b one, little by little, little by little. I think f five is is risking it all. F five is like true. this, is, this is like putting a, keeping it together. <laughs> you're right, you're right. And you know, to your point, we we keep playing on light, light. Yeah, light, just, yep. light, light. Yeah, yeah. So all right, you were right. This is definitely always in the air. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay, how bad is? There are two main moves that come to mind here. Either King G2, it's always in the air too. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned about this move. Yeah. Although we could always play Rook G2, right? I, th I think so. Yeah, we yeah. always play Rook G2 there. Or G5, maybe. maybe. G5, and if they go Rook G4? Then we trade Rook. Yeah. We trade Rook B2 at the end. I think B2 is a looming thing. B2 seems to be the, the, the ultimate problem. True, right. true, 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 true. Yeah, and you know, this shouldn't be annoying to us because it's well defended. Um, so that was one idea or simply just pushing the pawn because I'm a little bit... I really want to play knight b2, like you said. Yeah. But I don't even know anymore because, number one, this is going to be attacked if we block the bishop. But also, they don't have to really take us on, on b2. Right, they don't have to take. Oh, yeah, they don't have to take it. A four A five is, is dis distracting the rook. It seems it seems interesting just for. And again, we don't have many options. <laughs> yeah, many options. It's actually nice. Sometimes comforting to have less options. That's, that's true. Uh oh. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't see that one coming. See me either. I didn't, didn't, didn't. Uh, you see, I told you about Kenji too. No, just kidding. <laughs> oh no, you did. You did. No, you, you, you yeah, did. but I didn't oh, okay. thinking of this pawn, oh. but I never ever thought of rook h three. So you felt that your, your instinct was on, on, on par. That, okay. So, uh, so I guess we have to play knight b2. Knight <laughs> b2 anyway. Or maybe knight e5? No, because b2 at the end. Yeah, b2. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wait, wait, and a5? What about a5? What happened to our a5 ideas? No, I guess they just ignore it, right? Well, then um, the one is fast. Yeah, I get it. I get it. But at least we have something going there. Thing is that if you go a five rook b eight, you gotta go back to doing something about this guy. 
and then night b2 maybe maybe then night b2 at least we get at least we get night b2 but then they go rook takes e3 yeah i mean we can go continue with a6 but um i mean we'll up a couple pawns it, it shouldn't be the end of the world. Also, knight b4 is an idea. Maybe, 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 maybe not. We're giving a lot of pawns. A5, and then in some cases, we just like play knight mm. b4 to interpose. Uh, and maybe some bishop b2 to block this pawn forever? Pawn, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so we gotta pick one of the two either <laughs> a5 or knight b4. Or knight b4. Oh, oh, no, I think that, I meant knight b4 later. Yeah, yeah. I th I th I oh, think, okay, I think, okay, okay, okay. So a5, rook moves. And maybe then night before. And then maybe night before, depending where where she goes. Hmm. Oh, Ooh, even see, that was not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I feel like that was. <laughs> it's giving us a chance. Okay. Yeah. The, 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 the computer is like these guys are so bad that I could do whatever. <laughs> I don't think we could do it. <laughs> this is funny. It's true though. Like the computer don't make it. But we we were owning it. Right, and then it started getting shaky, but okay, because it's so complicated. It really, it does. It is. If you played B three, that B three, I think, was was a a move that humans. Uh, this is to yeah, find yeah, this. Yeah, right, you're right. Very strong GM. Very like yeah. uh, in a blitz game. It almost. I'm gonna be honest. This is not. They don't find like this is a weird move. No, this no, is, you're right. But you know, uh, again, for instructional tough. purposes, it's great that we are familiar with this. Like now, at least I will be always looking out for that move. B three. Yeah, hundred percent. All right, so we got rook a6. Knight b4, it seems fine though. What, what happened to knight b4? Yeah, knight b4. I mean, this isn't that bad, is it? I like that. No, I like that actually. Yeah, right. we trade. Take and then take on the five. And then here we are. Yeah, here we are. We're back in it. Back in the game. Know, let's, uh, let's see. Let, let's see. What, let's see if we mess it up again. Let's let's. <laughs> <laughs> let's see if we mess it up again. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh... <laughs> So what I mean, King G two, oh, you remove King G two, but then Rook D three starts starts piling in. It, yeah. it, it, so it's it's such a delicate situation. The Knight C four is is a menace. And um, objectively speaking, they only have a pawn that is annoying. We have two connected pass pawns. This should be superior, superior. but their pieces are better in better point. position. And you're you're right. Look at that Knight again on the light square, annoying yeah. being so annoying. Yeah. Yeah, but that the light. Very good let me ask you, how bad? How bad is Knight? Oh, very bad. That's, I just saw I keep it. on looking at it in my mind, but then B two, yeah. I just it just keeps on coming in my and, I, and then yeah, but but B two, yeah, yeah. This is an important moment. It's it's like there is like a key move. Yeah. So what is it? This is like, this is the moment where whatever you do next could bring that bar down yeah. significantly. <laughs> it's a little, little zero. I'll little zero. just <laughs> offer a draw. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it, it, it's kind. Wait, there's something about the knight. Yeah, you, you made a point. The only thing she has is the knight and the pawn. Correct. If we were to trade knights, would be basically. Yeah, I, don't, I don't see has. why. I don't see how. I mean, if I if I were playing this in a game, mm -hmm. I'll go. Oh wait, but now they also have this in the air. Rook g three. Although that pawn may not even matter much. Like it's not. Oh, no, oh another thing interesting and worth noting is if we let's say we trade rooks. Mm -hmm. Well, let's actually. This is a good point. If B two happens, we give the bishop. We're still not worse. I think this is an important point. If we just lose our bishop, we're up, we're up three, we're up two pawns. That means if B two and we lose our bishop, we have three pawns for the piece, and it's it's no mm, big deal. That's a good point. That's a good point. Even if we give this guy for this guy, yeah, we just can't let him at her actually queen. Then it's a problem. As long as he doesn't physically queen queen, if we if we give up the bishop, so so. I'm thinking, uh, because I got to that point, because I'm thinking, yeah, bishop b2, if I'm playing this in the game, I'll be, I'll feel safe with bishop b2, but then rook g3 was really annoying to see. Annoying, but now if you, you got a good point. We're winning by two points. we got to give something. Well, if bishop b2, then the problem, rook g3, right, rook g3 we got to give something, but I feel like I'd rather give up the dark bishop than give up a pawn. It's really, really weird, because... If it's really weird. Pawn, it's really weird. You're pushing me against my limits here. What are you... No, <laughs> No, because the pawn on b3 is so strong, we may eventually have to lose the bishop. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, I think that's, and that's fine. We have a healthy pawn, really healthy. So much so that I think, I, I if we had an endgame where we trade rooks and then trade our bishop, give up our bishop for the pawn, I, I'd still rather white. I think it's probably equal, but 
three mm-hmm. pawns. But you get, if someone is gonna win, it's gonna be you with all of the pawns. I think so. Exactly. Exactly. Right. If, if someone's gonna win, it's gonna be it's gonna be white. Okay. Um, good point. So, so what's the move here? Oh my gosh. All right. So we're then between. I still like King G two as a candidate move. Bishop B two. G two seems fine. It gets the rook away. Right. It stops with G three because like, and then rook E three. You could always play bishop to B two maybe. Mm-hmm. Yeah, what's wrong mm-hmm. with that? I don't oh. see anything wrong with this. This bishop B two. Okay. And then your rook is, if anything, your rook is a little bit weird on D three. Yeah. What, what about King King F two? But then rook H one. You don't like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, Wow, uh, this is kind. Of, this, this could take an hour just this one position. <laughs> no, look, this is. But this is great, man. In in, in yeah. we know in an actual tournament game, it'll be like this. You spend a lot of time. Yeah, this is actual play. Yeah, yeah. And and that's yeah. that's also something else to be fair. If we were playing this in a tournament game, we wouldn't be here just talking, laid back, relaxed. We'll be really calculating, and we'll consider the different details. At yeah. least I, I would like to think that that would be. Yeah. The case. No, no, no. All yeah. right. So Kinji two then. Maybe two, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Then Bishop B2. Bishop B2 is kind of what we're moving. What he wanted is like, yeah. And it's, then, um. Mm. Right, there are some problems with Rook D2. Yeah, he, he's trying to win. I guess this is what they're trying to do, right? What they're trying to do. That's what he's trying to do. And, um. He's trying to physically trap our bishop. That's what's that's what's happening. He doesn't want it for a pawn. He wants it for free. Yeah, you yeah. you were right. Uh, yeah. if, if they let us trade their pawn for our bishop, we're good, and they know that. Yeah, yeah. They know that. Oh my god. Okay. Oh yeah. Problem is ninety three trade trade and then rook rook rook. Then rook d two. Yeah. I wonder in hindsight if king f two. It's hard to know. King g two fell away. I don't know. <laughs> hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> it's what it is. Yeah, you can't look back. Can't look back. Um. I mean, can we? If we do it now, rook b one is coming. It's coming. And we have no way out. I tell you, we, we dropped the bishop and we're not gonna get their pawn. And we're not gonna get their pawn. So, so the evaluation is saying we're not even that dead, which means something which which means that we're... No, I think the evaluation says they only have one point because one we got a couple pawns. A couple pawns, yeah. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Um do we ever just mm. F five, G five, G six? So I think it's too hard to get five. King F three? I, I thought of king f3 and yeah, get the bishop, try to activate the king, but I don't see any. Cha, cha, cha. Mm -mm -mm. You mean you mean king f3 with the idea of bringing it, bringing it over to control the pawn? Maybe, but then king f3, rook b1, knight e3, but then knight takes b2. It takes with a knight. It takes with a knight. And then this idea you said f5, rook b1, g5. Five. Nah, 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 nah. Well, interesting, but mm -mm. I feel I feel better bringing the king instead. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Looks, looks I mean, we're done anyways here, so I, maybe this is the best <laughs> chat we got. Yeah, this is. <laughs> that was okay. It was just. It was, it was, it was 93, a king e4. King e4, yeah, yeah. King e4. And then I, 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 guess, I, guess, I, I feel like I feel like taking is, is just, and then hoping to get trade some material. I don't think so. Yeah, no, we, we don't. We, we could just make it casual here, show some respect. There yeah. we go. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now, here, nothing we can do to get the pawn. Our knight is too clumsy. So maybe knight e3. Let me just keep it simple here. See how they finish us? Yeah, this is coming. That's it. I mean, this is the computer. They might just give us a chance. 
They, they might just give yeah, it they a might. Shot. Yeah, what's going on here? Wait, wait. Then, 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 then night, night, wait, night. What? Night D3. Wait. No, night D3. Is that possible? What yeah. if they take on F2? I'm sorry. And then 95 check. Or 95 check, maybe. Ah, and then we take on B3. <laughs> and if yeah. we go night D3 and they go B2? B2. Then we take B2. And, and, and then, then we take then, here. Yeah, I guess it's something. 95? Okay, just. Okay, it doesn't care. Just, just say, oh, yeah, it's, I guess it's just... Okay. Yeah, that, that, I, I hope they know how to do the visual <laughs> music. Right? I hope. 100%. Oh, my goodness. Let me see. Interesting game. Interesting right, let, me, game. let me go back so that they don't take that. Hmm. Yeah, Kenny 4 is coming anyways. Oh. Okay. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. Well, I don't see anything better. Yeah, they're just teasing us. Yeah, I don't think we're going to convert this, my friend. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, it's guys, good. we're going to show some respect and resign. I do, I did find this very instructive, even for myself, so I hope you found it um, as well. Um, let me just take three minutes to take a quick look at the... How do I resign here? Uh, uh, I don't think I can. I could just do analysis, maybe? Okay, there you go. So let me just take a moment at the critical parts, like here, 95, queen f3, okay, e4 or g4. Oh, it likes a4 even. a4 sometimes is an idea. Is yeah, a4 many times to undermine this c4, yes, right? Yes, yes. Good, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks like it looks like a4 was the strongest, so mental node for all of us. Something. And then we got G4 and E4 right there around the same yeah. thing. It's a matter of personal taste. Yeah. But anyways, between A4 and the rest, is not, I would say any of the three will be, it will be okay. For sure. But just a reinforcement there. Okay, so E4, 97. We I found that so. F7, yeah. E5. Then taking on F6 on point. Yeah. That's yeah. the one. Yeah. And it's good that we know the reasoning behind it. We don't want him to... Uh, put a knight on e4. Ah, uh, here you got a good point. Queen e2 was better. Queen really? Two was, yeah, oh. queen e2 was the top move. Slightly better. Queen so, a2 going a little bit all in. We were trying to get, we were trying to finish her off right away. Exactly, exactly. So this is uh yeah, it was so um it was so nice, and sometimes we fall in love with these threats, <laughs> only to get in trouble. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Because the trade of queens kind of helped. The, 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 uh, well, it helped. It was fine for us, but it doesn't like g4. It doesn't mind it. it doesn't mind it. It's, it's just, just fine. Yeah. It's just queen h6 is okay. Yeah. It is only move. Yeah. Apparently, knight g5. Likes your knight g5 and going. Bishop d2, knight d5. Yeah. Just keeping it simple, being consistent with the action that we have on the king side. Yeah. And then. H3 didn't Light like F7, it. Knight G5. Okay. Yeah, Knight G5. We talked so much about Knight G5. Oh, yeah, because we were concerned Knight about G5. the pawn. Yeah. But they're not concerned about the pawn. Knight F7 was a hard move. Yeah, Knight F, yeah H3 it seems that Knight H6 is bad, but it's, it wasn't as bad as it. Yeah, it's yeah. just, it's like you said, it's very, for humans, it's so counterintuitive to have the Knight there at the end of the of the line, but. Yeah. But anyways, all of this evaluation, it's roughly the same. There's nothing yeah. significant yet. We messed that up later, I guess. <laughs> B3, I guess strange, or strange. Yep. B3. Now, we... Yeah, this is, this is where things started to get a little bit ugly. Bishop D3. Just take the pawn. Yeah. Just take the pawn. Not a big deal. Yeah, we got bluffed. Yeah. It, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> we got blocked. <laughs> <laughs> it worked, man. I feel like we need revenge against Nora. We need revenge. Oh, we'll, we'll be back. We'll be back. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Not supposed to escape. And look, this yeah. is interesting because we went from psychologically, we're like, oh, now we're in trouble. We started to get worse and worse and yeah, worse. Yeah, psychologically, you're right. That's that's it's true. That's true. That's instructive. Yeah. That's it. It gets to you. And then H5 is like, let me give you a break, man. Let me yeah, give you a break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Break. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not like, supposed wait, to play, to, to play this. Thousand, 
<laughs> she's like, wait, this isn't the Carlson person. Wait, what? I'm not sure. I'm like, she's playing like Carlson. I, I, don't I forgot. I forgot. I actually beat. Uh, yeah, a few weeks ago, I beat the, with the student. Actually, we beat the Carlson app with it with the stone alone. Nice, was, nice, was, nice. The Carlson uh, version, whatever the bot or something. It, was, that was, that was, it felt good. I felt good. I don't know. It has to feel. I mean, I cannot. I can only imagine. This is supposed to be twenty two hundred. It's not. It's not. I mean, it's it's different. It's a different type. It, 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 it's kind of hard. It's, it's, not, it's a different story. It's a different story. Thoughts are thoughts. It's a computer. It's there we go. Yeah, here we're back. We're back in the game. It looks like F five was the. F five was the move. It's not interesting. It, it, but, it, remember we said it, it brought, either win or either if we if it's wrong it lose. But but apparently that was that was all the move. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But again, it's not that easy to, to make such a decision. And you know, it's it's not that bad, but it's not a big deal. It's just roughly equal at the end of the day. Yeah. Rook h8, and then king g2 is there again. Wow, <laughs> wow, yeah, king g2, yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, Rook, no, right. but you know, I, none of us saw this coming. If we had seen it, then king g2 becomes uh, becomes logical. By the way, very symbolic, king g2 light. It, rook h3 light, d3 knight d3 light. Mm -hmm, so it's like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, the king acts as a, as a little little bishop, a little light square bishop. It's, it's all about light here. The pawns you always have dark. We got dark. We got e3, true. d4. See, we got it. We got it made. It's still, if we could show that we have that harmony, then, then it's a special. So it's kind of kind of didn't. And uh, even that b3 dagger was light. That, that's a kind of symbolic. She was trying to make something. Hundred percent. You're right. Everything is fixated on the on the dark, and then all of the action goes around the light. That's right. That's a very good point. That's a very good point. Oof, now that before was like the end. Bang, bang. Wait, but it, it said it was. Why don't, wait, oh, we should, should take it. Yeah, they should have oh, taken. C takes wow. before, and then rook a to h6. Oh my god, like a mating attack. Oh, a mating attack. Wow, that is incredible. And look at this monster right here. Yeah, that, that's really special. It shows how, you know, the knights could sometimes crush bishops. This is a good example. Yeah, that's a very good example. Wow. But again, these are just very difficult lines to find. Oh. All right, yeah. man. Um, great game anyways. The, the objective was never to, to win. It was just to f offer something new. And I think we did by playing that E4 and then yes. getting into the end game and sort of uh, get an insight of, um, you know you, the way you, that you approach it and, and, and all of your experience. So thanks for doing this. Oh, my pleasure. Uh, this is really fun, and uh, I think I, I think we I learned too. This is this is really uh, really really interesting. Uh, so. Absolutely. All right, guys. So we're gonna leave it here again in the in the description. I'm leaving the link to um, um, all of the material that you need. You have two um, Stonewall courses to check out. You have uh, you can reach out to Jacob for lessons or any questions you have. And like always, we'll see you in our next video. Can I say, can I say? Uh, Absolutely. Uh, yeah, so I, maybe we'll put it in the thing, but uh, yakatech.com. I have a YouTube channel and uh, yak yakatech.com is where we have things. People subscribe and videos, each videos, and people like send games in from their own to, it's like more of a impromptu training also. Very people nice. say games we discuss the light and dark harmony stuff so it's, it's kind of very thing. nice yeah it's so. perfect all right there you go so be safe then and we'll see you in the next one